Hey guys, welcome to my channel where we'll be discussing family, faith, hope, and love. I'm so glad that you joined me. Let's be fed daily bread. Are you hungry? day three of my digital journey so for those of you who are able to see day two when God literally wanted me to talk to you about dreams and to remind you or just introduce you or let you know about a dream that I had and about a reference to volunteering you know at St. Jude and how that played out so as soon as I finish, you know, that particular um, episode, the Holy Spirit hit me right away and reminded me of a movie that he had me watch in December of 2020. And the movie is actually named Mountaintop. And I'm like, okay, going back in my journals, because as you can see in episode, episode two, I showed you all the journals and stuff that I have. I have a lot of stuff written down. So now like, you know, he's telling me a specific date. So I'm going back into my journal and I'm looking. I was like, oh my gosh, God, you're amazing. Because this particular movie, Mountain Top, was in reference to a dreamer. And I'm a dreamer. I mean, God speaks to me every time I put my head down on a pillow. I could expect he's gonna whisper something or he's gonna show me something. And like I've been telling you that I am a visual person. So I know that dreaming is actually God's language. I mean, I can't, I mean, my digital journey will be just off the chain with all the dreams that I've had. But this is not me walking in the flesh. This is me walking in the spirit, being obedient and letting him take lead. So he is in full control of everything that I document here of what he wants me to let you know. Certain things he may not say to give it to them. Certain things he's going to say, sure, go ahead and reveal it. So with this particular movie, Mountain Top, it's in reference to dreams. Number one that we talked about in episode two, dreams are instructional or they're informational. So for those of you who dream, some people I know are scared of the dreams. Some people don't document their dreams. People don't pay attention to the dreams. I think that you should really, really start considering it, especially if you're having a relationship with God, to see what it is that your dreams are about. You know, anybody know about Joseph in the Bible? Joseph was, you know, a dream was an integral part of Joseph's um, story. You know, he had a dream about his um, brothers having to bow down to him and then he were able to interpret the king's dream. So dreams are very important. But with this movie, I think what God wanted me to talk to you guys about in reference to the mountaintop is getting to the mountaintop. And the spiritual meaning of mountaintop is actually nearness to God. I know that I've reached the mountaintop. I'm at the mountaintop. I definitely don't want to go down. Because the bottom is too crowded. I want to stay on top. So I'm no, I'm definitely have part of that mountain top experience. And I will continue to climb that mountain because the God that we serve, the God that who created this heaven and earth, he is phenomenal. And I want to be as close to him as possible. So what I think he wanted me to even bring to your attention too is in reference to relationships. In this particular movie, um, there's two couple, an older couple and a younger couple. Um, for my family and friends that know me, you know, this year I celebrated my 32nd wedding anniversary. So at the end of this message, I will put in a link about um, a documentary or what I would say. I was uh, invited to my sister Maria um, Santano's platform in July of um, last year to talk about the perspective of marriage. And when I looked at this movie, Mountaintop, um, it was in reference to dreams number one, 
the closeness and confidence in God, number two, and how relationships are built up or how they were broken down. So I don't want to give away too much of this movie, but in this movie, um, it's like an older gentleman, you know, was con he was not convicted because he did go through the process of the system he was locked up and everything but he was eventually released but i will say that he was tried by the world he was accused by the world and his wife of x y and z amount of years could have either say yay or nay to stand by him or believe him and i think this is what he's drawing me to in reference to relationships you know sometimes you're in a situation that comes up unexpectedly and it's all about the perspective of how you're going to deal with it. You know, we live in a world where people are so judgmental, the judges and everything. And then if you don't have that support system and if you don't have that relationship with God, it's going to be extremely hard for you to cope. And I was so glad when God revealed this movie to me and I literally sat, watched it. And I was like, I was in awe. I was like, God, you know, if people don't believe in you, I am so sorry for them because they don't know what they are missing. And then that movie was so irrelevant, so relevant to me as a dreamer because, you know, for years I've been documenting my dreams and experiencing it. And then, you know, when you tell some people, they'll be like, ah, they made us a coincidence. But then when you literally sit and watch this movie, you be like, oh man, God, he is so creative, meticulous in everything that he does. It's like, it just amazes me every single time. So I'm like in awe. I'm like in awe, I'm in awe. So my question to you every time for this path, for this channel is, are you hungry? I am so hungry that I don't care how full I get spiritually. I want to keep getting more and I want to keep getting more and I want to keep getting more and I want to keep giving you more and I want to keep giving you more and I want to keep giving you more. So this one, this, this particular video is not going to be that long. My pointers to you is, is in reference to your relationship. Because what the Holy Spirit had me um, kind of reflect on a couple nights ago, it was like, ask the people this question. Or just document this for me. And I want them to start thinking about this seriously. The relationships that you're in, the person, are they bringing value? Are they adding and multiplying? Or are they subtracting? and dividing think about that for a minute marinate on that for a bit because I could tell you about my experience and I started at a very early age when God introduced me to who my husband was going to be and from the very beginning he started adding and multiplying in my life it was never subtracting and dividing and here we are 32 years in the marriage and actually 35 years together and it's just like crazy that you can see that I sit I look back I observe and listen to you know family friends and you know acquaintances and the relationships that they have and that other person is like taking away just pulling and taking and it's so much greed and anger and upset and selfishness and it's like come on people you need to start taking a look and see how being with a relationship with God and having intimacy with God is going to be an integral part of your relationship. I tell my kids all the time that a triple braided cord, a plait, is tighter than a twist. Can't be you and that person. It gotta be you, God, and that person in that relationship to strengthen it he has to be in the midst of that relationship so that you can know that God is going to be able to direct you he's going to be giving this person little tips about you in that air and giving you tips about that person so that you can come together on one accord so I'm going to leave you with this check out the link so that you can see about perspective of marriages that I talked that was the first time I've ever did anything live on Facebook and my sister pastora Mary Santano in Aruba called me and said God said that you have a message and you have a lot to say and I had a lot to say and a lot of people that looked at that video was like wow 
I saw her all this time. I work with her all this time. I've been with her, go to church with her. I never know that that was her story. So you can check that out. And then what I will also leave with you is the link for uh, Mountain Top. And then you can see that as well and go from there to be able to look at that movie, digest it, and then maybe, you know, you can send me an email, bushels of fun, uh, bushel of fun in events at gmail.com. Let me repeat that again, bushel of fun events at gmail.com if you had any questions or whatever, because it's always good to reflect. So I'm so glad that I'm obedient. I'm so glad that I took the time to listen to God mountaintop i want to take you to the mountaintop to have that closeness with god because this is what my digital journey is so that you can see that my relationship with god is like a one is on the top you know i don't take anything for granted i will not be disobedient obedience is the key and i'm so glad that you decide to tune in to this channel today just to get a little snippet of what it is that god has for us and it's all about intimacy and it's all about building relationships. So thank you again. Until next time, I love you and let's be fed with daily bread.